this is literally one of the best even my friend likes it welcome to world of crafts and many things if you're new here hi i'm kuti i post lifestyle psychological and nerdy videos as well as crafty slash fashion and design videos so if you like that kind of content just hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to know when i post so speaking of fashion and design i'm wearing this really cute top that i upcycled from old pants so moving on today i'm going to be doing a video where i show you guys really cheap and affordable products that i used to grow my hair these products actually work and they are also very affordable which is very important because i'm a student so i'm not going to be spending a lot of money on expensive products i always get asked what products i've been using for my hair so the first product that i'm going to start with is the shampoo which is very important because in the previous video i explained that i don't use shampoo that has sulfate because it takes away all the natural oils of the hair which leaves the hair all dry and brittle and also makes it break so i've noticed that a lot of sulfate free shampoos are extremely expensive so i decided that i am going to use bailey shampoo which is johnson's it actually is two in one shampoo and conditioner and it has worked amazingly i also explained that my hair is actually high porosity which means it dries up very fast and it's prone to breakage so i wanted something that is soft that would leave my hair dry i decided to buy baby shampoo because actually it does not have sulfate and alcohol and it's for babies i mean if it's for babies it has to be gentle so this is perfect for my hair so if you have the same problem as me your hair gets dry all the time and you want it to actually grow and not break because of washing you can actually invest in one of this they're very good one thing that i also make sure my hair is getting is moisturizing and conditioning i don't like doing those uh conditioners where i have to wash them off it gives me stress so i like leaving conditioners and i also love moisturizing this by the way i am running out on all hair products it is like the worst thing because i know that when they all run out i have to buy all of them at the same time which is so stressful but yeah one thing that i discovered few years ago when i started uh, my hair journey was this thing the first time i used it i nearly cried because it made my hair really soft <laughs> like it's as soon as i used it my hair got soft and it was i was able to detangle it it's actually african triple butter afro botanics it's like for super hair growth it has boabab oil marula oil and moringa oil i don't know how to pronounce anything to be honest so you guys have just got to make do i actually bought it at clicks this is my most expensive hair product actually i think i bought it for like 91 rand but it works so perfectly it lasts for months i always use it so sparingly you know <laughs> it's also running out but for now we're still holding on another thing that i discovered basically in the beginning of my hair growth journey was this i discovered it by luck actually i went to pep to look for something for her and someone actually told me i should get this and i got it i just thought it was just not gonna work because i got it for like i think it's 15 rand if not 18 rand it looks like this and it smells like mint and you can feel it in your scalp when you apply it it actually has castor oil, coconut oil, and shea butter, which are very important when you're trying to grow your hair. One thing I would advise you is to read what's in your hair products because that's the most important. For me, I, I like my hair products to have castor oil and coconut oil, even shea butter. Then I don't have to buy castor oil or coconut oil, but sometimes I do buy coconut oil for my hair. It doesn't really do much difference. I just use it for the sake. I feel like it's a very thin oil for my hair and my hair needs thick oil so yeah this is literally one of the best even my friend likes it i actually feel like it's one of my top secret ingredients because it's literally one of the best like i cannot recommend it enough it saved my hair in a way because it was the beginning of my hair journey and my hair was still kind of relaxed because i had to cut almost all of it but yeah it helped thicken it and also kind of like it's amazing I cannot recommend it enough and it's also very really cheap oh another thing that i used that is also running out can you see how small it is 
It's an anti-breakage formula. Olive Miracle. It helps with breakage. Because my hair used to break a lot. It still breaks. It freaks me out sometimes. But yeah. My hair used to break more than normal. So I had to use this. And it helped me. I've been using it for two years now. And it's one of the best. And that is all that I use as far as products are content. Sometimes I use also black castor oil. It's really amazing. It's just so expensive. I don't use it all the time. But as long as I have moisturizer, conditioner, and oil, I am good. And as long as I'm using this, I honestly feel like you don't have to use a lot of hair products. As long as you have a consistent thing going for you and you know, you always keep it in a protective hairstyle. One thing that I actually started doing um last year that i it's almost magical if i'm to say so rice water i watched a lot of videos and they kept saying rice water helps and it does actually it just smells really bad it smells so horrible but basically you take rice and then you soak it um for like maybe three days in water and then you take out the rice and you take that water and what i do to make it not smell is i shove in orange peels in there too so basically you keep it for like three days in there and then you start spraying your hair with it now and then and then you wash it it makes your hair grow somehow i started using that and it helps rice water is the best to grow your hair when i started using it my hair wouldn't tie a pony and then as soon as I used it for like a few weeks, my hair was tying a pony. I was so shocked. So I continued using it throughout last year. I'm not using it now. I feel like these days I'm so chill with my hair. That's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. Until next time, also tell me which videos you would love to see from me because I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification bell and share with your friends. Thank you.